M G M Productions. Great hustle, Evans. I'm impressed. Thanks, Coach. Coach, my foot was asleep. I could have easily beat him if- We're a team, Hudson. We shouldn't be thinking about beating anyone but our competition. Sorry, Coach. Take a lap. Coach has been like super hard on you during practice. She's doing it on purpose. I just need to step up my game. You know what might help? What, Brit? If we get naked and did it right here. What? Let's do it, Santana. Right here, right now. Brittany, people can hear you. So, everyone knows you want this. We're gonna be late for practice. Um, what? Great, our captain has lost it. Um, I'll meet you guys there. Whatever. Are you okay, Sam? Yeah, I was just going over drills in my head. I'm fine. If you say so. What the f flowers? You sent me flowers? I did. They should be arriving soon. Consider it another thank you gift. Oh, Carl, you didn't have to do that. Why not? You made me the happiest man last night when you said yes. A student just walked in. Bye bye. What was that about? Nothing. Did you want something, Will? Yeah, uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to grab a cup of coffee in the lounge before classes started. Yes, coffee sounds wonderful. Let's do that right now. Coach Beast was drooling over everything he did. I'm surprised she didn't praise him for breathing. Then it was one compliment. You didn't hear the way she said it though, Rachel. She's gonna replace me, I know it. Now you're just talking crazy. You're the best quarterback this school has had in years. There's no way she's replacing you. How did your talk with Quinn go? Not well. I think I pushed a little too hard. Rach, I told you- I know, I know. But I was expecting slight hostility from Quinn. It's a part of phase one. Phase one? Of my Operation for Barry friendship plan. For Barry? For Bray and Barry. Now, phase one is the hardest phase because the animosity is high. I become what Oprah has classified as an emotional punching bag for Quinn. I don't think this is the way you should be going about things, Rach. I mean, why can't you just apologize normally? This plan is foolproof, Finn. I've gone over it 40 times in my head. I've even listed out the possible positive and negative outcomes. Humans don't operate according to charts and levels of animation. Animosity. Look, I just don't want to see you get hurt. I won't, I promise. I'll see you at Glee Club, Finn. Quinn, I- Get lost, Barry. Quinn, let's at least try to be cordial with one another. We are teammates, after all. Fine, please get lost, Barry. I would really appreciate it if you would just give me a chance to- If you won't leave, I will. Secrets. Everyone's got them. Question is, are they good, or are they bad? Good. What? There's nothing wrong with keeping a secret. If we all went around blabbing out our secrets, then people would know we're a lesbian. Say what? Hypothetically, in a hypothetical situation. In a hypothetical situation, we're all lesbians? I'm okay with this. I get to see so much action. Noah, why must you speak in such a vulgar manner? Why must you speak at all? Guys, let's not get off track here. I kind of agree with Santana. Well, not the whole hypothetical lesbian thing, but I think it's okay to keep secrets. I, for one, think it's absurd to keep secrets. Believe me, we know. It pains me to say this, but I agree with Rachel. Keeping secrets hurts more than it helps. Looks like we've all got some mixed views on the topic. For your assignments, I want you guys to find a song that relates to your darkest secret. What if you don't have one? Then find a song that expresses how you feel about secrets. We're doing duets for this assignment, and everyone will pick their partner using the Hat of Fate. Still disappointed there was no duck in there. Finn, you're up first. Sam. Mike, I don't think we've ever talked. I got my girl Tina. Looks like I'm working with wheels. Please don't call me that. Santana. Awesome. Yay. Looks like that leaves Quinn and Rachel. Brilliant. No. Mr. Shu, can I trade with someone else? I'm sorry, Quinn. The fates have spoken. When? I didn't hear anything. Don't worry, Quinn. I think we'll make a dynamic duo. Welcome back to Pop and Lock Talk. Once again, I'm Mike. And I'm Matt. To wrap up our episode, we're going to name the best snacks to eat after a dance-off. 
personally, I'm a big fan of a nice peanut butter and egg sandwich. Gross. Don't knock it until you try it. I, on the other hand, eat normal people food, aka carrot sticks dipped in soy sauce. That sounds disgusting. Says the boy who eats peanut butter and egg sandwiches. They are delicious. Well, that concludes this episode. Tune in next week for more Pop and Lock Talk with your hosts, Mike and Matt. So what assignment did Mr. Shu give you guys this week? We are supposed to sing about secrets. Oh, I have one of those. What's your secret? I don't talk a lot because I'm more of an observer. People think I'm mute when really, I just don't have much to say. Makes sense. Do you have a secret? Yeah, I miss having you at McKinley. You're my best friend. But we still hang out. Yeah, but it's not the same. It gets kind of lonely, even in Glee Club. Well, maybe you just gotta work on putting yourself out there. How am I supposed to do that? Most of the time I feel invisible. Make a name for yourself. You've got to find your voice and make yourself heard. No, you don't understand. I'm looking for a specific kind of tire. Kid, I've already showed you all the different kinds we have here. I need tires that are completely stealthy. They need to be silent. That sounds borderline illegal. And psychotic. Do you carry catalogs? I'll go see if I have any extras. I don't know, dude. It's kind of a lame assignment, if you ask me. It's not that bad. Why sing about secrets and how they make us feel? It's pointless. Feelings are pointless. Wait. What? I'm not gonna lie, you're coming off a little gay right now. I know what your secret is. What? You still have a thing for Quinn. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It does to you. And what about you, golden boy? What secret do you have hidden? Oh, uh, nothing. Wow, could we crack open a window? I just caught a whiff of bull crap. Okay, maybe I'm keeping a secret. From Rachel. Whoa, what is it? Over the summer, she told me that she and Jesse didn't, you know... Do the deed? Yeah, I kind of lied and told her that I'm still a virgin. What the hell, Finn? She kept going on about how great our first time would have been together if it was new for both of us. It just slipped out. Are you gonna tell her the truth? I want to. Don't. What? Why? It's too late to tell the truth now. If you told her, she'd dump you for not being upfront. So I should just lie? I don't want to hurt Rachel. I hate doing this. You're not lying, you're keeping a secret. Dude, it's for the best. We don't have any more catalogs, but I can have one mailed to you if you want. Keep your catalogs. I just struck gold. They really need to put a drug awareness class in these schools. That was barely 30 seconds. There's no way I can hold that note for a whole minute. With that negative attitude, no, you can't. These vocal exercises are stupid. They are essential to getting on my nerves. Why are you being so difficult? Because I don't want to be partners with an annoying, narcissistic, loudmouth diva. And you think I'm having a ball dealing with a power-hungry, ungrateful- Ungrateful? Am I supposed to worship you now or something? No, but a little respect would be appreciated. I am your captain, after all. Let's just go over the list of songs we might do. What list? Every song I've suggested, you've turned down. I am not doing a Barbra Streisand song. Can you say predictable? Miss Streisand is anything but predictable, Quinfer Bay. Her music, her voice, and her acting is fresh, innovative, and timeless. More like tiresome and overrated. <gasps> Quinn for Bray, you take that back right now. How dare you? The truth hurts. That doesn't sound good at all. The truth? You can't handle the truth. Man, I am so glad I'm not partners with Rachel. She's been really getting under your skin, hasn't she? You can say that again. I don't know how Quinn's made it this long. Must be frustrating. Speaking of frustration, I think my mom might have been right about Artie. Your mom hates Artie. Well, yeah, but lately all he does is play those stupid video games. He hardly pays me any attention. Oh, hell no. Sounds like you need to tell him what's up. I should get to class. See ya. I've got it. Oh, oh, thanks. I can be so clumsy sometimes. It's cool. It happens. Thanks. I, I should go. Is there something wrong, Will? No. No, it's nothing. Are you upset with me? No, it's just... we're friends, right? Of course. Why would you even ask that? 
friends shouldn't keep secrets from one another, right? Well, um, no. We should be able to confide in one another. I, I agree. Trust is important. So, you wouldn't ever keep anything from me, right? You know, I just remembered I have an appointment with a student. Emma. If I'm late, there's a possibility they'll think I'm neglecting them, which can then lead to suicidal thoughts, Will, and I should hurry. Oh, William. I actually feel embarrassed for you. Not now, Sue. Looks like Emily has moved on from you. Frankly, I'm surprised it took her so long. Soon she'll stop talking to you altogether. You gotta finish that cookie. It's all yours. That was just wasteful. you thrown away Find our games you don't wanna play You are the only one that needs to know I'll keep you my dirty little secret Don't tell anyone or you'll I, I can't be do this Santana Okay, so I'm thinking we go all out for our song. What do you have in mind? Is there any way we can set your wheels on fire? It could be like rings of fire with flames that- Puck, I need to talk to Artie privately for a minute. Alright, think about what I said. It'd be awesome. I think you just saved my life. Tina. You okay? Artie, I'm not happy. I haven't been happy for a while. What? It feels like we don't spend time together anymore. What do you mean? You came over to watch me play Space Crocodiles just yesterday. That's what I mean, Artie. All you do is play video games. Tina, that's not true. When's the last time we were together without there being a simulated character with us? That's what I thought. It's killing our relationship. Hey, how about I take you out to dinner? Just you and me. No video games? No handheld? I promise. Just you, me, and whatever special they have at Breadsticks tomorrow night. Really? Yeah. You're special to me, Tina. The last thing I'd want to do was lose you. Admittedly, it took Quinn and I a while to come up with an appropriate song for- I picked the song. Right. Well, I helped. You whined for 15 minutes before agreeing with my decision. Girls. Anyway, I'd like to dedicate this song to my boyfriend, whom I know would never keep any secrets from me because we love each other too much. I'd also like to- I'm so close to tossing my shoe at your face right now, it's ridiculous. Rachel, I think you should get started. Fine. Haven't been the same since you came into my life. You found a way to touch my soul, and I'm never, ever, ever gonna let it go. totally make out in front of you. Really? Yep. Maybe we'll even let you join. Wait, seriously? Uh, no. Your breath smells like a zombie fart. What you can do is go wait in the car. What? We'll come get you when we're ready. 
Oh, and don't forget to leave your credit card at the front. Leave the windows cracked for air. I forgot to do that once, and we ended up getting a new cat. Ugh, finally he's gone. I'm starving. Sam? Is this like, a date? B what Well, I mean, we always ask a guy out, ditch him, and have dinner together, followed by a super hot makeout session. Britt, you're not making any sense. I'm just saying, it all feels like a date to me. We don't really need a guy to- Yes, we do. Why? Because, look, I don't date girls, that's not me, so just drop it. I'm not holding anything. No, just forget this conversation ever happened. Do you use super blonde cream? No. Omega blonde surprise. Wrong answer. Guess again. Baby blonde hair extravaganza. You got it. Yes, I knew it. You're good at the whole hair product stuff. What can I say? Fashion and I go together like Beyonce and Weaves. Or Mario and Luigi. Oh? How long have those two been dating? Kidding. Don't scare me like that again. The look on your face was classic. I can't believe this. What's wrong? Sam, he's even getting along better with Kurt than I do. Dude, you're tripping out. It's like he can do everything. Wait, it's Sam who intimidates you? Bro, you've got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he's got some flaws. Yeah, when you find one, let me know. I think I know the perfect way to solve this. How? Hoops. The rules are simple, people. The first one to score five hoops is the winner. No cheating and no playing dirty. Remember, Finn, take no prisoners. Keep your eye on the prize. You can do this. Thanks, Rick. Kick some ass! Sorry, these things get me excited. Good luck, sweetie! Good luck. You're going down, Evans. Let the games begin. down to this shot. Sam makes it, he wins the game. You're still a winner to me, Finn. Good game, Finn. dress like this? I'm in disguise so no one will recognize me. Santana, I assure you that all of my sessions with students are completely confidential. Then explain all the windows. I never did understand why they did that. Whatever, look, I need to talk to you about feelings. What kind of feelings? Gay feelings. Well, there's nothing wrong with experiencing- I'm not gay. Okay, fine, Britt and I have sleepovers a lot. That's not gay. Friends have sleepovers all the time. Exactly, and so what? We cuddle sometimes while watching Lifetime movies. That's not gay. I'm sure some friends cuddle for warmth. We do normal, friendly things like making out and doing it when her family isn't home. That's not gay. Hey, are we still on for dinner? You mean the dinner we were supposed to have last night? That was last night? I sat there waiting for an hour, Artie. I felt like an idiot. Where were you? I... I was... You know what? I don't care. I can't even stand being around you right now. Tina, I'm sorry. You wanna know my secret, Artie? You're a horrible boyfriend. You're staring again. What? You were staring at Brittany. I wasn't staring at Brittany, I was looking at the sexy guy next to her. Oh please, I'm not stupid. Or deaf for that matter. What the hell are you talking about? Our Saturday sleepovers? Cheerleading camp? Do you really think I bought that Brittany and I moan in our sleep story? I've known you two for years. It's pretty obvious that you're in love. Hold up, nobody said anything about the L word. Which one? Love or lesbian? Both. 
I'm not gay. Right. Oh, Santana, you have something on your face. What is it? Denial. Screw you, Fabray. Did you just make Santana go invisible or something? No, quite the opposite, actually. I had no idea you were a magician. What number am I thinking of right now? If there's one thing my boy and I have learned this week, it's that the best thing to do is keep your secrets to yourself. Yeah, because you can hurt and humiliate the ones you love when your secret gets out. Sometimes they deserve it. Guys, don't start. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. That's right. And here's ours. I've got a secret I cannot say Blame all the movement to keep it away You've got something that I understand Holding it tightly, caught on command I still can't believe there is a lie Promise is promise, an eye for an eye We've got something Very good, guys. Hey, what do you want? I actually wanted to talk to you about one of the plays you made. Blue Eagle? That's my best offensive play. What about it? It's great, but... But what? Is there a problem? I just think it leaves our players a little vulnerable. Just a small change... Too bad. I'm not changing it. Then you're making a mistake. Seriously, what the hell is your problem? Maybe you're my problem. Hey! I can't believe you two. What possessed you to fight? He was threatening my position. You've got to be kidding me. Dude, shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Both of you can it. You're lucky I didn't take you down to the principal. Thanks to your inability to act maturely, you're both out of the homecoming game this weekend. Coach, you can't do that. That's our opening game. You should have thought about that before you decided to swing. You're also not welcome back into the Glee Club this week. Now get out of here. Finn, I'm really disappointed in you. You're better than this. Turn your attitude around. Soon. Teenagers, I swear. Yeah. You can lead them to the water, but you can't make them stop texting during class. Britt, why did you drag me in here? I'm not in the mood to make out. Neither am I. Then what's going on? You tell me. You've been acting like my cat Charity when she used up all the toilet paper. Britt, I- wait, toilet paper? Did I do something wrong? Cause if I did, I'm sorry. You didn't do anything, Brittany. Then why have you been avoiding me? B because- Why? Because- Santana- Can I come in? Oh yes, please have a seat. Is there something you wanted to talk about, Will? Yeah, I've had this strange feeling all week that you've been keeping something from me. Oh. I know it gets kind of awkward between us considering our history, but I thought we were friends. We are. Then why do I feel like there's something you're not telling me? I just don't know how to tell you. You can tell me anything, Emma. I want- I'm moving in with Carl. Well, uh, that's a big step. It is. We're both excited. Congrats. Thank you. I better get going. Those papers aren't going to grade themselves. Time to see what my fellow fans thought of my latest video. Please don't be mean. Please don't be mean. Please don't be mean. Please don't.
Okay, maybe I'm keeping a secret from Rachel. Whoa, what is it? I kind of lied and told her that I'm still a virgin. Productions.